Hi everyone and welcome back to the Fabulous Movement YouTube channel. Today we will talk about Microsoft Loop. Microsoft just announced this new tool and we will figure out if this is really competition for Notion or Coda, where they have overlaps and where it is actually a completely different platform. Let's find out now. Okay, Microsoft Loop. They introduce this and they say, think, plan and create together. And when we go through the announcement and what they actually talk about, um, they have three different things like workspaces, pages, components, and they're talking in detail about these things. When we look at Notion, we have the same thing. We have the workspaces here, which is this, the different sections. We have pages, which is the essential part of Notion. So we have pages, or we see here is pages or databases. And then we have components. That's actually very interesting. Components work across the different applications that Microsoft has to offer. And this is the interesting thing, because we don't want to have disconnected information. If somebody writes me anything in a chat that actually needs to be in the single source of truth, your database, your presentation or anything like that, or the database with the information of your project, then you don't want to have the additional work to do to copy paste what somebody told you in the chat to paste it into the project. So components actually allows you to share something inside chat, Microsoft Teams and to do and so on, where you actually connect the information across different platforms. And this is what I love. If you are a follower of the Payless Movement and you're part of the Payless Movement membership, you know I talk about i which stands for Input, Control, Output, Refine and defines a productivity system end to end. I'm all about you need to connect the dots. You don't want to have to have duplicated information. And this is Microsoft's take on to consolidate everything into one place with Microsoft Loops. And this is what you have in no Notion, if you, Notion is your only tool that you use. The issue with Notion was really that it didn't integrate well with other tools so far. The components they have here, when we quickly show, they have a table. And the question is now, can you cross connect the tables? Because if you go to Notion uh, in my old setup, there I have different databases that I created. So let's say we go to the people database and this is just a list of people. And we go, for example, for Albert Einstein, we can open the page, which, which they also called here, the pages. And then we have uh, information about, you know, we can write something down here on this page, but we also have backlinks that shows me where I mentioned this person. Person. I also have additional information, but I don't even, I don't need this. Okay. So if this looks all complex to you, I actually have an online course, how to use Notion like a pro um, in the Payless Movement membership. It's free for my members. So go over there and check it out. But I just want to show you that Notion so far has a lot more to offer. So they say something like here, oh, that's awesome. You have components and you have uh, a voting table probably many get excited. You know, you ask something, you say pros and cons, and then you, uh, people can vote for this and you see the people voting. Actually, Coda had this in the very beginning. Here we are in Coda, that's a Coda doc. And there you have a voting table. So I could even add a new row that's, you can play around on this page actually. I can pick a person who is the author behind this and then I can leave a comment and I vote it, okay? So I can vote this as well. And Coda, we also talk about this inside the Papers Movement Membership. There's also an online course where I show how to set up a work stream inside Coda. And the amazing thing is we are using Coda now to build a tool starter base for my Papers Movement members. Really exciting stuff. We have live sessions that you can follow inside the membership. But this being said, Coda is the most advanced database management slash pages slash docs tool that you can get out there. It is more complex, I would say, than Notion, but it has a lot more to offer. So you could, for example, click add idea. Uh, you can create a button. So all what you see here, you can create yourself adding this button, clear the template, see, and all this. This is really easily done. I don't want to go into much detail, but I wonder compared to the Microsoft Loop thing, how complex these tables really will be or how interactive they will be. Is there a way that your developer and your team will be able to 
create their own components and I have an answer to that. Microsoft already announced that they will also open up their access for developers so they can actually create third-party components for the stuff. And so yeah, we have some cards here. You can create this encoder in Notion. Yeah, fancy animations always work. We see some text messages coming up. That's interesting. Again, I like the integration with everything. Here, they're obviously sending text messages and everything stays connected. Whereas Coda or a Notion, we don't have a chat functionality in the same way. So now here we see you have the main category and it seems that you can invite people to this page here. And then you have the page next to it. They have some pages below that. So it seems you can use custom icons or is it actually files. I'm not sure about this because this looks like the whiteboarding icon. So you have a whiteboarding board. So they didn't tell you much how this works in the end and I will certainly figure out how this works once this becomes available. If you don't want to miss this, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and I'll let you know as soon as I know more about this. So on top you see actually that's the workspace as I mentioned here it's the same the workspace and then it looks really very similar to Notion so I can open this up like the databases. Now I have all the databases there but I can also click on databases. Now I have it in this view. So this is nothing else than having a page and sub page Pages, and I think it works the same way here as well. Okay, here we have some more information, status tracking for November, task lists, ideas for November event. Okay, so what does us tell us this? Not much, isn't it? It's just a bunch of paper which is not organized and this is what we actually want to have. We want to find the information very quickly. So the question is, how much will Microsoft Loop allow you to organize the information in a straightforward way or do you need actually to come up with the idea how you structure the pages. Um, this is where many people get overwhelmed with Notion but also with Coda is that they have a blank canvas and they can do whatever they like. People are seeking for some templates that other people created and they start with this but in many cases they get even more overwhelmed because these templates are very complex and as I said in this course that I have there you will learn this from scratch. You know the difference between pages and note taking and also databases and cross database linkage. It sounds so complicated but that's the vision behind the papers movement to make people understand the advantages of this and this isn't actually anything difficult. This is what we are here for guys. Okay, here we clearly see the structure of pages as we know it from other pages. Um, also click up now edit this so people can react to paragraphs. Uh, not sure what the advantage there is. So then here we have some marketing image concepts. So they added an image gallery it seems and people can add even more images. So question is now where does it live? Does it only live on this page or is it part of a different page or database that I can leverage? Is it a component that I can cross share then? I would guess so. That would be the dream way to use it. That we can just put this marketing image concept add it to a chat, send it to somebody else and they can add images there and at the same time it will update here. I think it will work this way. It just makes sense to have it this way. There we go. Here are in, we are in the sales and we have some, this is one of the new components here which gives you some data, so a dashboard and key information about other information that you have here from the Dynamics 365. Here we are in Outlook and in Teams and it just shows you that you have this component now in both. Okay, so we have it in the Outlook in an email. So it adds it here, but at the same time here. So when this data gets updated over time, the sales, the numbers or anything else, it will get updated cross application. And I like this. So the real question now is that we need to answer who is Microsoft Loop for and Microsoft Suite in general versus Notion or Coda. And the thing is, I see Notion more for the personal solopreneur to use. I know companies actually using Notion with their teams and working in there. That's absolutely possible. I would argue there are better tools to do project management like ClickUp or Asana. But for knowledge management, Notion is really awesome and creating written content. Coda, you can build anything. Okay, so this is the no code movement. Encoder where you really can create 
an app from scratch. You have all the integrations, any integration that you want to get in there. This is really awesome and we will see a lot more from Coda. And Microsoft Loop, this is really for teams, bigger organizations. This is how I would see it. In a paperless movement community inside the membership, we have a lot of members who work and cooperate and they run everything on Microsoft because that's still the standard in many companies. And this is where people struggle. They use Notion for the private life or they use Todoist for task management in their private life. And then they get disconnected from their work life. And I always try to find ways to get everything together into one simple single source of truth when you wake up and you say, okay, that's what I need to do today. And usually that's your calendar. But this aside, the thing is, having something like Microsoft Loop will now level up working in the businesses that actually run on Microsoft. So I really appreciate Microsoft going down this road. Is it competition for Notion? No, I think it's a complete different use case. It's really for consolidating the data that you have inside your business, keep it connected and take advantage of what is already there instead of scattering the information into different tools. So this is really highly aligned with the i framework principle that I teach inside the membership, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video. So if you want to stay tuned and you want to learn more about digital productivity tools and how you take advantage of this, also about these updates, make sure that you subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and I'll catch you up next time. Oh, 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 oh,